to another video. Today I'm going to be uh, testing this Ray Hong 3-in-1 High Protection Quick Coating Spray. got this off Timu, cost me about £3. Um, I'm not holding out much hope for it to be honest. Um, for three quid, I know it's going to be amazing, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go and see what it's like. Um, it's supposed to be like a waterless wash I think is the main idea of it. The box came a little bit damaged um, but we'll open it up and have a look in a minute. So it provides you with a waterless wash for a clean look that keeps your car looking radiant. It is the best partner of the car saving time and money. Best partner of the car, I don't know what that means. Easily removes dirt and grease, repairs, repairs scratches and forms a diamond like protective film which is interesting so that could be Almost like a ceramic coating, but for three quid, I, I really don't think so. Refresh your car, stay shiny for months. Basically, the instructions are spray evenly on the car, wipe away with a cloth or towel. Bright as new, smooth as jade. Okay. Benefits. A high protective film is formed on the surface of the vehicle for decontamination, dust removal and isolation of stains and water stains. 100 milliliters, so let's have a look inside. Squirty. Not a very good quality one, but what do you expect? Three quid. Very small bottle, I suppose it's only 100 ml. And then we have oh, a sponge or applicator, similar to what you get with ceramic coating. Why would you need a spray bottle if you've got a sponge applicator and a very small, awful looking, awful feeling elasticated stockinette? <laughs> so that's not going anywhere near the car, so that can go straight in the bin. So let's have a quick sniff test. It smells very chemically and very soapy. But the proof is in the pudding, let's go outside and have a go with the uh, Celica, see if we can uh, cover up the, a couple of scratches I've got on there and see if it removes any dirt. So as you can see the actual Celica is a little bit dusty but it's not particularly dirty. So I'm just going to see if I can uh, just use this as a waterless wash first as it says on the instructions. So we'll give a quick spray and gentle wipe. Just remove the dust. It's not repairing any scratches, and you can see there. The camera down and said. There's a couple of scratches here. What do you do with this applicator? And you just smooth it on. <laughs> like a ceramic coat. Seems a bit silly saying that in a spray bottle. Wipe off with a nice microfiber. So it's not actually uh, getting rid of any scratches, but they're quite deep, those ones. It may be just like swirl marks and things like that it's recommending to get rid of. But it feels nice and glossy, really smooth. But is it any different to a normal quick detailer? So we're going to get a detailer and we'll compare it. So I'm a little bit further along the panel, just to this area here, I'm going to do a little bit here, just with a mirror image gloss enhancer, quick spray on, and then a buff off. The car is pretty well coated anyway, it's got a nano coat on it, also courtesy of mirror image, so it is quite glossy anyway. Yeah, there's absolutely no difference at all. Well, I'm going to get some water. I'm going to test each area. So this area here is with the uh, the high protection three in one. And this area here, this area here is with the uh, mirror image. Sheets off nicely. Give a close up. Bad. And now the mirror image. Put 
be a little bit faster. Is that washing off? No, I think it'll be alright. Hmm. So I don't think it's as long a lasting as let's say the mirror image or any other probably um, more expensive detailer but if you think about it for 100 mil that's what three quid you get a cloth with it but there's no, no use in an ornament and then you get your gloss enhancer which is what 500 mil for I think it's seven quid something like that makes more financial sense to buy something like this um, it doesn't really cover scratches but we'll have a look on uh, another couple of scratches we've got further down the panel here. We'll dry this off and we'll try a couple of these scratches. We've got one across the panel here. We'll see if it actually covers these scratches up on this area here. I hope you can hear me above the wind noise. It's probably a tofu I had for lunch. <laughs> right. So I don't know if you can see on camera, I've got a couple of scratches around here and here. And a couple of light sort of like scrapes here from like the hedge. I'll just drive down the lane. So. Let's give this a bit of a liberal spray and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it in just with a sponge and then I'm going to let it sit for a few seconds and see if it actually does any different or has any benefit. Okay, leave that for a sec for a minute. And we'll give it a buff off. It does feel really nice, but like I said before, the car's actually coated anyway with a nano coat. It's not a ceramic coating, it's a nano coat which is similar. It's just done in a spray form and wet um, coating. You put it on actually as you wash the car, and it gives it that nice glossy feel. But a couple of scratches are actually diminished slightly that might be just because I've cleaned it that one there is still there but that's quite deep I'll probably need wet flatting and polishing out but it does feel nice again it's how long it lasts So in conclusion then, it's basically just a detailer isn't it, it's just got some, <laughs> it's got some polymers in there and we have a look again, deionized water, silicone, a few uh, polymers basically just to give it a nice coating but it's probably mostly water, it does smell really like soap um, so I think it's just like a general wash, like I said it's before it's a um, a waterless wash. I'm not a massive fan of waterless washes anyway. I did a test on uh, Grease Lightning. I think it was basically when we had a hose pipe man and you couldn't wash your car so I tried using that and that again was just like a really strong detailer. So if you want to try it give it a go but is it worth it? In my opinion not, no. Um, it did cover a little very few light scratches but the mirror image gloss enhancer probably did exactly the same thing. It just highlights the actual gloss level and takes your eye away from the actual uh, scratches themselves. How long it lasts, we'll have to see. So, um, but I'm not counting on it because that water seemed to just wash it off almost instantaneously. The sheeting of the water almost disappeared after the two or three goes with the actual just plain water. So it's not going to really stand up to just rainwater, is it? Um, plus if you shampoo your car as well, it's going to wash it completely off. So yeah, it's all right if you want to use a detailer. Um, it's not something I'm going to be spending a lot of money on and buying more and more of this thing. I just thought I'd give it a go because it's only three quid. And I think it was on special offer as well on Timu. So I thought I'd just give it a go. But I'm just going to stick to my standard uh, details of my products. Like I said before, that was three quid. And I think that's about seven or eight quid. And you get half a litre. And that we get 100 mil, so 
makes more financial sense to spend your money on a decent product. So if you've liked this video and you've used this product before, drop me a comment below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.